if I have to go pick between talent and size, I'm going to go with talent. You know, he's that dual threat quarterback that every coach and every offensive coordinator, you know, salivates about. I'm going Jaden Daniels bus label. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I was a bit surprised that LSU pursued a quarterback in the portal this spring. But if you want a guy who can throw the rock, How? a guy who won 10 games this year with that LSU defense that was ridiculous but. compared to just the eight that Drake May put up and talking about wins, why wouldn't you go with Jaden? This year's quarterback class is absolutely loaded, making this year's draft one of the most exciting ones we've had in years. Since winning the Heisman Trophy in 2022, Caleb Williams has been many people's favorite for the number one pick. And whilst his freak athleticism and incredible highlight reel make him a worthy selection, another Heisman Trophy winner has thrown his hat into the ring. After a blockbuster 2023 season, I believe that Jaden Daniels is the best quarterback in the 2024 draft class. Jaden Daniels is the perfect example of how patience can often pay off in life. After earning a day three projection before the 2023 NFL draft, Daniels opted to return to college to get some more experience under his belt and show what he can do. Just one year later, he is a Heisman Trophy winner and now considered one of the top three quarterbacks in the 2024 draft. And so when you're talking about the quarterbacks, I think it's going to be more than just the two quarterbacks this year that people are targeting at the top of the draft. I think it's going to be three quarterbacks. I think Jaden Daniels, based off what Field thinks and says, is going to be brought into that mix by the time the draft mm. rolls around. And don't get me wrong, while he may not be as polished as the can't miss talents of like Joe Burrow or Trevor Lawrence when they were coming out of college, he still has a very high upside. His skill set matches up perfectly with the modern game, and his ceiling is the highest of any other quarterback in this draft. I mean, I've even heard people compare him to the MVP winner this year, Lamar Jackson. And if they're already comparing him to that guy, that already tells you all you need to know about him. Daniels' college career started strong at Arizona State, but a lackluster performance in 2021 put a significant dent in his future prospects. He threw as many interceptions as touchdowns that year which makes his transfer to the impressive LSU program somewhat surprising. I'm going Jaden Daniels bus label. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I was a bit surprised that LSU pursued a quarterback in the portal this spring. Daniels cited the opportunity to showcase his talent on a national stage as the reason for him making the move. Are you a young kid and you feel like, you know, I want to go somewhere and play. You, you never know because everybody trying to look for somebody with experience now, mm -hmm. um, you know, because they, they want to win games and you know, experience obviously helps, especially in college and in the pros. Um, so I was like, man, you, you got to make the best decision for you, but you got to know the consequence that can come with it if you, don't, if, if you don't have a home. And I mean, did it pay off? As the starting quarterback of the LSU Tigers, Jaden Daniels' play was taken to the next level. In 2022, he threw for 2,913 yards and 17 touchdowns to only three interceptions, whilst also rushing for 885 yards and 11 more scores. The impressive first season produced plenty of high-scoring wins in an SEC championship appearance, but it was nothing in comparison to this campaign in 2023. In his second season with LSU, Jaden Daniels threw for 3,812 yards and 40 touchdowns, adding 1,134 more yards and 10 touchdowns as a rusher. He was a one-man wrecking crew, contributing a combined 50 touchdowns and giving up only four interceptions. His ability to deliver explosive play after explosive play whilst also protecting the ball showcased elite level quarterback play that made him a worthy winner of the prestigious Heisman Trophy Award. And his play has ended up propelling him to a top three pick on the draft board, but the real debate is how high should he go? Like not only was Jaden Daniels the best quarterback in 2023, but a step back from Caleb Williams this season has also now allowed the door to open up to Jaden Daniels to become the first overall pick this year. And look, with his blistering speed and his talented arm strength, is there really even a competition here? Because I think he's the number one pick. The X factor that Jaden Daniels holds over all of his fellow quarterbacks is the speed. He could outrun defenders for fun in the college game, and his acceleration and speed will undoubtedly transfer to the NFL. In a league that is becoming more and more dependent on quarterbacks making plays with their legs, Jaden Daniels will be one of the most dangerous rushing quarterbacks on his first day. His comparisons to Lamar Jackson are valid, and the 2023 MVP may be the only player who can rival Daniels 
as a rusher. PFF gave Jaden Daniels a grade of over 92 as a passer and as a rusher. Now look, for context, his 92.4 grade as a rusher would have put him inside the top 10 for college running backs, according to PFF. RPOs have become a much bigger part of the pro game in recent years too, and adding the threat of Daniels into any RPO play is an extreme headache for defenses. If you want to see how dangerous Daniels can be as a rusher, you just have to go look at his last four games in the college season. Against Alabama's highly talented unit, Daniels rushed for 163 yards and a touchdown. Plenty of the players he was torching in that game will be playing in the NFL in the coming years, proving that his athleticism is no joke. One week later, Daniels erupted for 234 yards and two touchdowns on 12 carries against the Florida Gators. That's an average of 19.5 yards per carry to go along with his 372 yards and three touchdowns as a passer. In that game, Daniels became the first player in FBS history to pass for over 350 yards and rush for 200 in the same game. That's the definition of a dual threat quarterback. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Caleb Williams can definitely make some plays with his legs too, but he just doesn't come with as much of a threat as Daniels does. Just 136 yards for Caleb in 2023 meant that teams won't be too worried about him burning them for a long touchdown. When it comes to passing, Caleb Williams has become renowned for his incredible ability to extend plays and make insane throws while on the run, but he definitely has some limitations. Playing in structure and on time is just something that Caleb didn't do very often. It's not to say that he can't, but there are clear examples of him passing up the open read to try and make something happen. Whilst the phrase hero ball certainly comes with some negative connotations, it is impossible to deny that Williams might enter the NFL as one of the best quarterbacks in the league when it comes to creating a big play out of nothing. In college, Williams often found himself as the best athlete on the field, whilst also having to make a play with a defense that could literally stop nothing. Taking the easy option or the check down pass simply wasn't going to get it done at times, which explains why he ended up making so many outrageous plays. While that will translate to the NFL in some ways, there is going to be a learning process for him to go through when it comes to operating a pro style offense. And look, just to be straight up, Williams will no longer be the best athlete on the field. And the wild things that he was able to get away with in college, in the NFL, he's not going to be able to get away with those same things. He's going to have to improve on his basic and in-structure passing, and will have to get in the habit of not bailing out on the play and kind of just making a hero play and turning it into his freestyle hero ball that he wants to play. He's going to have to start making some reads. His talent is truly unique, and comparisons with Patrick Mahomes can be made, but he needs to get to grips with some of the basic basics first. Jaden Daniels, on the other hand, though, that dude's just danger from the start. His threat as a rusher will make him a dangerous player from day one, but it cannot be underestimated how talented he is as a passer. He is composed in the pocket and has already shown good signs of being able to progress through his reads. When it comes to letting rip, he has very few weaknesses. His arm strength can reach all areas of the field with excellent deep ball accuracy and the ability to make passes while on the move. With five years of college action under his belt, he enters the league with experience, which has proven to be an invest. Purdy was a four-year starter at college, and just like Daniels, he will have learned a lot from taking so many snaps. You just have to look at the player that he replaced too, Trey Lance, which is a great example of how lacks of snaps can really damage your transition to the NFL. Jaden Daniels' tape shows a quarterback who can produce highlight reel plays but also someone who can recognize coverages and utilize mismatches to his benefit. And of course, just like any prospect, he does have weaknesses, but his can be ironed out much more easily than others. You could say his slender frame might be a problem if he takes too many hits, but being smart as a rusher will be crucial. And when it comes to passing, he can be a little hesitant to pull the trigger, but that's something that you can polish up very quickly once you're in training camp and working with these guys. Aside from the physical attributes that will make Jaden Daniels a star in the NFL, you can also look back on his mental strength and how that will be a great asset going into the NFL. Opting to leave Arizona State after three seasons wouldn't have been an easy decision to make and his mental strength was tested to the max after receiving plenty of criticism for doing so. Many people doubted his ability to make a name for himself, garnering plenty of media attention. Listen, fellas, it's just different in the SEC and I believe he could struggle as a guy who's best football in my opinion 
was played as a freshman in 2019. Also, soon after his announcements, videos were released of his ex-teammates clearing out his locker and mocking him. No matter who you are, it takes a lot to shake all of that off and deliver under the bright lights of the SEC. Daniels got his ultimate vindiction in year two with his new team. He was a leap from wire to wire, leading the highest scoring offense in college football and winning the Heisman Trophy. No one can deny that the young quarterback went out and proved his doubters wrong. When considering each quarterback and their possible potential, it's easy to see that Jaden Daniels had a far superior year this year. Both Daniels and Caleb Williams' playoffs hopes were doomed when you play with the defenses that they had, but I mean, at least Jaden Daniels was able to pull out a 10 and three record in the SEC, whereas Williams could only manage an eight and three record. And yes, it would be negligent for me not to mention that Jaden Daniels did have incredible wide receivers this year. But one of the reasons that Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas Jr. were just so dominant was because their quarterback play elevated them to that spot. It's also worth noting that Caleb Williams' play in the second half of this season honestly just fell off the table. After extending to a 6-0 record and averaging 3.6 touchdowns a game, Williams' season was turned on its head after a poor performance against Notre Dame. During that game, Williams threw three interceptions in a 48-20 loss, triggering a dismal end to the year where USC lost five of their last six games. And Williams Williams only threw eight touchdowns across those games. The former Heisman Trophy winner entered the season as the consensus number one overall selection, but a questionable finish to the year has added some doubts to his draft profile. Not to mention the USC quarterback curse that everybody seems to bring up every single year when there's a highly talented USC quarterback. And honestly, if you go back and watch some of the film, Sam Darnold has an eerily similar feel to what Caleb Williams looks like coming out of USC too. But we all know what happened with Sam Darnold once he got to the NFL. The likes of Cody Kessler, Matt Barkley, Mark Sanchez, and Matt Leiner before him have not done much to convince the world that USC can produce talented quarterbacks. Now, of course, Caleb Williams remains one of the best prospects in the NFL draft and is still very likely to go number one overall. It's a little unfair to write him off based off a few bad games and a theory about a USC curse, but it's an absolutely fair question whether he is a worthy number one overall selection. Jaden Daniels is coming Coming off of a truly elite quarterback season, which cannot be said for Williams. Daniels also has a skill set that will make him a dangerous weapon from day one, whereas Williams will need to adjust to playing within structure in a pro style offense. And when looking at them both just individually, their careers honestly both have such high ceilings. Like, I mean, when you're earning comparisons to the likes of Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, you know the future is bright. Both players are absolutely more than going to earn many Pro Bowls and lead their teams to the playoffs but it is Jaden Daniels who looks like he's the one that's ready to dominate from day one. Every quarterback needs to learn and adjust to the NFL, but Daniels' speed gives him an advantage from the first time he steps on the field. He has an advantage over Williams on that front, whilst also being able to make special plays with his arm. His five years as a starter will prove invaluable in helping him adjust, and his mental toughness on display throughout his college career makes him a truly enticing prospect. Jaden Daniels is the number one quarterback in the 2024 NFL Draft. Try to change my mind.